Mini episode 1699 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge Mini Episode 1699, the weekly FDH football preview show. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our NFL Wild Card Round Preview. For last week's college pick, we are 0-1, bringing us to 18-15-1 on the season. By the way, we're coming off a 25-15 season in 2022, so it's a combined 43-28-1 over that span. In the NFL, we're going for our fourth season since 2016 of being profitable, i.e. above 52.4% picking every game of the season. We're very close to that now, even after a tough week. Last week, we were 7-9, 2-1 on the Big 3, and 1-0 on the lock for the season. It's 135, 126-11, 25-26-3 on the Big 3, 7-11 on the lock. We lead off with the late Saturday afternoon game with the Browns laying 2.5 on the road at Houston. That line perhaps reflects the failure of even excellent rookie QBs like C.J. Stroud to get out of the first round of the playoffs over the past few decades, as well as the fact that the Texans played a weak schedule while Cleveland emerges from the game's toughest division. This is one of a number of games that might be decided on third down this weekend, since the Browns lead the league in third down defense and Houston ranks fifth. But factor in the weaker defense for the home team, and it's a win and cover for Cleveland. Browns 24, Texans 16. On Saturday night, while the world is whining about a paywalled playoff game, the Dolphins visit KC getting four and a half. At the beginning of the year with Vic Fangio coming to South Florida, if we'd have told you that this game would be a clash of offense versus defense, you'd have thought that the marquee matchup was on the other side of the ball, but the Steve Spagnuolo D has shockingly carried the Chiefs this year. At the same time, Miami hasn't really put it together on that side of the ball, albeit with an injury epidemic, even as the offense has rolled, albeit as the team didn't beat anyone good outside of the choking Cowboys. The Dolphins just don't fit the profile at all of a team that's going to get on a roll now, so Kansas City covers, but it's going to be a slog in that disaster weather. Chiefs 13, Dolphins 7. Early Sunday afternoon, the Steelers make the short jaunt to Buffalo, getting 9.5. To say that Pittsburgh profiles as one of the worst teams to make the playoffs in recent years would be kind. Meanwhile, the Bills rallied like crazy down the stretch to make the playoffs after an awful middle of the season. They're unlikely to blow it now. Remember how they thumped an outmatched New England team in this spot two years ago? It happens again here as Buffalo clears the 10, but not with as much ease as if the blizzard weren't happening entirely for Pittsburgh's benefit. Bills 21, Steelers 3. Later on Sunday, the Ice Bowl rematch in Dallas sees the Packers getting 7. Green Bay had to rally to make the playoffs, and beating a team at their level would be fairly atypical of this Cowboy season. But Dallas is second in third down offense, and Green Bay is 25th defensively on third down, so their D won't get off the field often enough. And yet, the prospect of a backdoor and the chance that the Cowboys could kick it away altogether constitute reasons to take the points, even in what will probably be a losing effort by the Wisconsin Invaders. Cowboys 27, Packers 21. In a weird choice for the Sunday night game, the Rams come to Detroit getting three in the Goff-Stafford Bowl. The Lions have been earmarked for the playoffs almost all year, while L.A. is something of a surprise team after really taking a knee in their post-Super Bowl year. Los Angeles does have more winning DNA than the historically allergic to the playoffs Lions, but it's the gap in defense between the two teams that makes the Rams the play on the road. Rams 31, Lions 27. 
on Monday night, the Bucks are getting three at home against Philly. We have lost time and time again in recent weeks thinking that the Eagles are about to get their act together, but this historical choke job doesn't seem like it's about to stop now. Their defense is so porous at this point that it's impossible to think that they can salvage their season, take Tampa and the points, Bucks 20, Eagles 17. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.